Okay, we're now going to look at two-way tables. Now, two-way tables are used to represent two different types of information. Here you can see we have got uh, the gender and we have also got uh, subject studied. Um, typical question will be they'll give you a two-way table and there'll be some missing numbers that you have to work out. Uh, you can use the information they give you to work out the missing numbers. Okay, so for instance, um, if you have a look here, uh, this the total number of people studying sciences is 46. 24 are female, that means that the remainder need to be male. So if you do 46 take away 24, you'll find the number of men. 46 take away 24, if you work that out using the column method, you'll get 22. That means there's 22 male studying sciences. Now let's work out, now you can't work out the humanities yet because you haven't got this number or this number. Um, let's work out next the number of women studying humanities. The 74 females altogether and 24 do sciences and 25 do arts. So if you add those two together you're going to get 49. That means if you take the 49 away from the 74 you'll find out what's left. 74 take away 49 is 25. That means there's 25 people studying humanities, or 24 uh, women studying humanities. Let's just double check that. 25 plus 25 is 50, plus 24 is, is, uh, is 74. Now let's work out some more. Um, let's work out how many people study arts altogether. There's 46 people altogether, remember all total, 46 altogether doing science. 60 altogether in humanities, so let's work out the arts because we know the total is 162. Well, if you add these two together, you get 106. If you take the 106 away from 162, you'll find out how many people do art. Whenever you do 162 take away 106, you find that there's 56 people doing art altogether. Let's now work out uh, these two numbers here. If you take the 25 uh, women who do humanities away from the 60 that do humanities altogether, what's left would tell you how many men do humanities. 60 take away 25 is 35. Let's work out how many uh, men do arts. Well, 56 people do art altogether and 25 are women. So if you take 25 away from the 56, you get 31. Now let's work out how many men there are all together. There's 22 doing sciences, there's 35 doing humanities, there's 31 doing art. So if you add those together, you'll find out how many men there are all together. So if you add the 22, 35 and 31 together, you get 88. So that means that all together there's 88 men. And let's just double check our answers because we've worked out there's 88 men. And if we add that together to the 74 woman, hopefully we'll get the 162. Well, 74 plus 88 is 162. And if you just double check your calculations, 25 plus 31 is 56. 25 plus 35 is 60. 24 plus uh, 22 is 46. It seems to be right. So the key thing is that the two numbers here for the men and women will add together to give you the total. Uh, so you can use uh, that information to work out some of the missing numbers. Also, each of the rows will add together to give you the total in that column. So that plus that plus that would give you the 74. That plus that plus that would give you the 88 and so on. And that might help you work out some of the missing numbers as well.